Hello and good morning. I'm here out for another Sunday stroll and wanted to share our devotional with you on discovering Jesus in the book of John. We're in chapter 10 and if you get a chance, please, please go and look this up for yourself. But we are discovering Jesus as our good shepherd. And a lady by the name of Don Clinge brought out five points of a good shepherd. The good shepherd. First of all, the good shepherd is the obvious. The good shepherd is good. And because he is good, he only desires our good. The good shepherd protects. The good shepherd will do anything to keep his flock safe from predators and from evil. The good shepherd also nurtures. When one of his little lambs are hurt, he takes the lamb and cuddles the lamb into his bosom. He nurtures. The Good Shepherd also guides. He guides his sheep to green pastures. The Good Shepherd is good. He guides. He protects. He nurtures, but most importantly, the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd, gives his life for his sheep, for his flock. I don't know if there are any human shepherds that would be willing to do that, but I know that the Good Shepherd did. He did it for you and he did it for me and I am oh, oh so grateful for our Good Shepherd. You know, another thing that's interesting about chapter 10 of John is that Jesus also refers himself to himself as the gate. And no one goes, gets into the sheep pen unless they go in the right way through the gate. No one has eternal life unless they go through the gate, which is Jesus Christ. So we have the Good Shepherd, who's the shepherd. Jesus is also the gate. You know, we've also talked about Jesus as the lamb. Jesus is everything. I hope you have enjoyed this little nugget as much as I have and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'm going to continue my nice little stroll. God bless.